Download the free Gun Dealio app to your smartphone. Find out about the latest deals and news on guns and gear. Includes the latest Gun Talk podcast and Gun Talk videos. That's Gun Dealio on the App Store and Google Play. Today on Tom Gresham's Gun Talk from the 2018 SHOT Show in Las Vegas, it's the newest products and biggest announcements for Crimson Trace, Brownells, Springfield Armory, Smith & Wesson, Nosler, North American Arms, and more. And now, here's Tom Gresham. Welcome to a special reloaded edition of Gun Talk. When you hear the number, no need to call. Just sit back and enjoy the show, and Tom will be back next week. Host us each year, and it's just wonderful. They kind of uh, let us play here. It is great. We're having a great time over here. Let's see. We're going to uh, say hello to all of our friends out there. I'm Tom Gresham. The show is Gun Talk, and it's heard every week, coast to coast, around the country, live. But today it's not live because, all right, truth in advertising, we are doing this show on Thursday at SHOT Show. SHOT Show is not held on Sunday, but you'll be hearing it on Sunday. But we're going to treat it as though, what do they call it, live to tape. And uh, <laughs> although no one uses tape anymore, uh, we're visiting with uh, Tony. Uh, Tony, how do you say your last name? Gokenbach. Gokenbach. Okay, from Elite Survival Systems. Uh, what we're going to do, so everybody understands, we're going to be hot seating this thing. We're going to have a whole bunch of people telling all the new things that are going on. And you guys have like a hugely expanded booth because you're growing so much. You're a Missouri company. You're a U.S. company. You're making all these holsters. And, of course, with the concealed carry, I was going to say craze, but that's not really it. It's a movement. Absolutely. It's more of a movement, isn't it? It is. So what are you seeing? Well, I think in, even speaking to it being a movement, uh, our company as a philosophy is about making sure that uh, every aspect of culture uh, in the U.S. culture, not just saying that uh, the shooting community is kind of a microcosm of America, but saying that guns need to be prevalent among responsible people through all walks of life. Need to be prevalent. I like that. Absolutely. That, you know, an immediate threat to life requires an immediate response. And so whatever it takes to get that job done. So we manufacture accessories, as you said, in Washington, Missouri. That's right. where we're located. Right. And, uh, you know, we've been making products since 1979 out of St. Louis. Really? Yeah. The first uh, iteration of the company was named Assault Systems. Okay. And Assault Systems started with the very first nylon uh, rifle case. So that was, ah, you know, okay. some, one of those things engineered in a basement and right. so on put together. And so the company's, you know, grown quite a bit and has a few more items now. But, uh, yeah, just even holding in on, on not just uh, gun ownership but responsible carry and, mm -hmm. and things like that. So All right. but uh, And we've been using some of your holsters in the last year or so, uh, particularly the, uh, I don't know what the category would be. It's a slip-on sleeve type, which are, and we were talking before the show, extremely versatile in the what you can do with it, the way you can carry with it, because you basically slip your uh, handgun into the sleeve, and then they're tacky, and you can put them anywhere you want, inside a waistband, uh, inside a, a belt. Uh, I'm sure you guys have come up with like a zillion ways to carry these things. Absolutely. You know, there are a lot of different body types and, and preferences mm -hmm. and uh, comfort, you know, when it comes to holster carry. Uh, if everybody needed the same thing, there would just be one holster and probably one or two holster companies making that. Right. But the product you're speaking to is our mainstay uh, holster. So it, it, it has a, um, a really dense fabric, a nice memory foam to keep it open and right. uh, take the shape of the weapon. And then it stays in your waistband with uh, a tacky material, as you said, and then some siliconized dots for extra grip. Ah, okay. So, so it stays where you put it. Absolutely. That's the main thing. The main stay. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's, it's got to stay there. Yeah. Okay. And we guarantee, like that product, like all of our products, are guaranteed for life. So uh, it's made in USA. It, it is not terribly expensive. No, it's $25 at retail. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. It's very accessible. Yeah, very and probably you're going to end up picking it up for less if people are moving it in out of stores. You never know. Oh, yeah. We, we're very good to our dealers. They have oh. a lot of room. that. They okay. Can. But then I've seen the one you pulled out here on the, the desk here because that one grabbed my attention. Tell me about this. Yeah, so, so I brought a belt clip holster to show as, uh, you know, you've mentioned a lot of training is very important. Practice right. makes permanent, right? Right. So if you're going to go into some draw training scenarios, you're going to need to be able to reholster your weapon from your concealment yeah, position. Yeah, and the little uh, slip 
you know, type that we're talking about, the sleeve, is not really designed for that because you can't really reholster one-handed. But with this holster, you can. Absolutely. So it's a quilted ballistic nylon product that we've reinforced with uh, some surgical plastic in the cuff to keep the mouth open. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, holsters inside the waistband tend to collapse. You sure. know, it's mostly friction from between the belt and your body. Right. Uh, we have some uh, uh, a few features in this that, that uh, when we think about making products, we think about a hammer. A hammer should be extremely good at the one function. You okay. know, some some companies okay. are focused on multi tools, right. and, and some people want multi tools. Okay, but this holster needs to function every time the way it's intended. All right. So in order to achieve that, it's built out of like I said, quilted ballistic nylon. So it's extremely durable yet pliable enough to take your weapon to shape. Uh, we put on a uh, thumb break over strap, which is adjustable or removable. Right. And we have a number of sizes to fit different firearms, but it's not a one-size-fit-all item. We're, we're looking for a good fit on it. Okay. Weapon. Sounds good. And what's the uh, price point on this? Price point's $30. 30 bucks for a, a good holster. Absolutely. And wow. it's also guaranteed for life. And we've had, we, we've done a couple of updates on this, but a product of this type we started releasing in 1980 was right. about. And there were maybe one or two sizes at that time. Uh, nobody wanted to think about putting some of the larger pieces. Well, and that was actually before the uh, the concealed carry movement really took on, too. And now you have, you know, instead of, you know, it was rare to find somebody in 1980 who's carrying all the time. Now it's pretty common for us. And uh, frankly, within our world, you and my our world, it's rare to find somebody who doesn't. Absolutely. Absolutely. What so change? We, we, yeah, exactly. And it's, it's a great thing, really. You know, you, the mindset of preparedness that people are embracing. Uh, and, and you're right. Most of the uh, customers for this type of product were, uh, were police and, and, and uh, customers such as that. Right. So, you know, now, now we have, you know, Everybody. These products can work for anybody. Now, you make things other than just holsters, though. Absolutely. So we've been broadening our categories. We, we've got concealment backpacks. Uh, mm. We have tactical gear, range right. bags, uh, all kinds of accessories, cases, belts. Our belts are extremely popular. Um, yeah, we, we've been uh, growing and growing uh, the product lines. What's the process for somebody in the company to come up with an idea and say, hey, we ought to do this. So who, who does that? Yeah, so, so we have a sort of a total focus is what I like to call the new product development. Uh, we, have, we do have some uh, leaders inside the company internally that say, you know, here are some ideas for products, but we, we listen to customer feedback, we look at the industry, we talk to industry professionals, and we use feedback reviews. We try to have a, a total feedback loop when it comes to that. But, uh, you know, some of the products we can say, you know, one person does and one person checks, where it's like, wait, this is what this is a clear need, so let's just go. And right. You say, okay, that makes sense. Let's just go do it. Absolutely. So what's lead time when you get an idea for a product and when you can actually get it in and get it out in the market? Sure, sure. Well, the, the benefit of us being able to make things in-house in Washington. So because we have a talented team of sewing staff and, and design professionals and things that have been on staff since the beginning. Right. You know, we still have employee number one, actually. Oh, wow. But, uh, yeah, so... We come up with a concept, we pattern it, we sew it there, we work with the prototype, we try to tear it up, and we can go into production. You don't have to run. send it off anywhere. Absolutely. You're just doing it all in house. You got it. I mean, you can sew it up, take it back, tinker with it, go back the same day, redo it, have them sew something else. Let's try that one. Absolutely. I mean, this is just all happening in an hour sometimes, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, you know, I wish I could say it happens in an hour. Uh, the uh, the founder of the company likes to, when someone says, well, you know, you should just put a little dongle over here or a right. little strap, you, you know, uh, he, he, he describes that it's not like a Willy Wonka machine where you just say, oh, I have these products, <laughs> I have these features and some nylon, and it goes through and pounds this like thing it. out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's But, you know, a lot of it is engineering, even though it's a soft mature. We don't right. think about it that way. Pretty slick. So when somebody asks you and you meet them and they say, elite survival systems, what is that? What do you tell them? Absolutely. I, I say it's, it's really no wonder you, you've never heard of the company. We, we've spent a lot of time making products for a lot of companies in the industry and, and, uh. and uh, other things. So we have a, a very strong program where maybe you've had a really good product and didn't even have our label on it. Huh. So we, do, we are using our own brand to launch things that we're not making for other people, obviously. Right. Um, so they may actually be using one of your products just with somebody else's name on it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, companies uh, on this very floor, for example. Yeah, so. no doubt. I'm, I'm, as I'm looking at it now, I'm thinking, yeah, I think I've seen that in somebody else's booth. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, we're, and we're, we're very happy to do that. We have and and I love the fact that it's made in America. Man, yeah. That is very cool. Absolutely. We, you know, we do have products that we make in Vietnam. We make 80% of all of our products in the U.S. Okay. But there are things like our much larger backpacks where... 
some of these things have 300 pieces to them. Ooh, yeah. you, know, you don't think about every touch, that's sure. labor hours. So right. in order to get it into the hands of the public at a reasonable so price. So you could have it as a $500 backpack, or we could get it to you at a little more reasonable price. Exactly. And people would just turn and walk right out of my booth. Exactly right. Tony Gokenbach, thank you so much. Elite Survival Systems, what's the uh, website? EliteSurvival.com. EliteSurvival.com. That's great. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate uh, you. All right. You take care. All right. Our, uh, we're at the Crimson Trace booth at Chacha. I keep wanting to give out the phone number, but it's a recorded show. You can't call in. Too bad. You just got to sit back and listen. I'm Tom Gresham. We'll be right back. Think all ammo's the same? Think again. Agula Ammunition uses the highest quality materials and is one of the world's largest rimfire manufacturers. Want Silent 22 ammo, powderless Super Calibri, and Sniper Subsonic merely whisper. For light recoil and big performance, mini shells make any shotgun a pleasure to shoot. Match grade and the Hyper Fast Super Maximum and Interceptor 22 loads get the maximum for your rifle or pistol. Visit AguilaAmmo.com slash rimfire. Feed your firearm. If you're like me, you don't have money to burn, but you still want to buy guns, ammo, and accessories. That's why we created Gun Dealio. That's a free, yes, a free smartphone app. Just download it and start getting the deals. Could be discounts, offers of free magazines for your gun, or you could be the first to hear about new stuff from gun makers. Here's how it works. With Gun Dealio on your phone, you get alerts when you enter a gun store. Special deals, you know. You don't have to do a thing. It'll do a lot of other cool things, like let you watch gun videos and listen to Gun Talk podcast. Plus, check it anytime for hundreds of deals and offers. Getting more while spending less. Smart, huh? Gun Dealio. Made in America. Gluten free at the App Store and Google Play or gundelio.com. Built to perform in the harshest conditions, the Ruger American Pistol can take it all, from ice to dust and everything in between. The Ruger American Pistol features a short take-up trigger, Novak sights, and a recoil-reducing barrel cam with low-mass slide for reduced felt recoil, plus a modular grip system with three sizes to fit almost any hand. Check it out at Ruger.com. The Ruger American Pistol, because anything else would be un-American. Responsible owners control access to their firearms, even when they may need them in a hurry. Liberty Safe, the nation's leader in gun safes, offers six models of handgun vaults. Strong, simple to use, open with a key or fingerprint. Put your handgun in the compact vault, lock it away until you need it. Then it's in your hand almost instantly. Pick the Liberty Safe handgun vault that's right for you. LibertySafeHD.com. All right, back with you, Tom Gresham. It is Gun Talk. We're at the Shot Show 2018. It's a heck of a show, and we're uh, visiting right now with Jan Melodic from Smith & Wesson. And, Jan, I mean, the reality is uh, the mood here is very weirdly different from last year. Last year we were watching Donald Trump be sworn in while we were at the show, right? That's right. I mean, right. We were, I literally remember. we were all in the booth watching this thing happen as it was going on. Yeah. And then, of course, we all had the, what they call the Trump slump, and gun sales went down. And then I'm telling people, yes, that was bad and all of that, but look what has happened Man, do we have a lot of new products coming out now. I mean, you guys have been busy beavers. Yeah, it, it's great to be here at the SHOT Show, and you can see how, how vibrant our industry is. Absolutely. And the, the attendance and the excitement. Of the mood is actually good around. here. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. And, uh, you know, if we, we have the 60,000-plus attendees that are projected, you know, it'll right. be a, another real banner year for the SHOT Show, uh, you know. Right here in Las Vegas. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, I know people say, well, what happened to the gun industry? Look, yeah. we have cycles. We've always had cycles. You know, they go down, they go up. Don't worry about it. It's going to be fine. Uh, but, and we've talked about this for years. Sure. New products drive sales. And you guys drive sales like crazy because you've always got new stuff coming out. 
Oh, absolutely. You know, to, to be able to, to, to present to our customers something new, exciting, you know, additional solutions for their shooting or hunting needs right. is kind of what it's all about to, to create that excitement. So yeah. what are you hearing in terms of people coming into your booth? Is there a, uh, I mean, what's driving things? Is, it, I mean, is concealed carry still, still the big deal? Yeah, it's still really, really hot. You know, personal protection, um, you know, concealed carry, home protection, vehicle right. protection. Right. You know, when, whenever we do all of our uh, customer uh, surveys mm -hmm. and market research and, you know, protection, 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 are, right. you know, usually the key drivers it's, for, it's, for it's our all, handguns. It's always been the number yeah. one reason yeah. that people buy guns. Yeah. It always has Absolutely. been, as long as we can yeah. track it back. Yeah. Uh, and then it's a case of now people are figuring out, uh, do I... Do I carry my car? Do I carry my person? Do, what do I have for home? You know, all this. And they're, as you say, trying to find the solutions that yeah. fit with their lifestyle. Exactly. And, uh, you know, to that end, uh, the concealed carry has, has really increased over the years as more and more states were allowing, you know, shall or may carry uh, right. licensing. And, and to that end, we had developed uh, the, the M&P Shield pistol, yes. you know, with that slim profile so that it can be, you know, adequately carried. One of the most comfortable yep. guns. It's kind yep. of like the, you, know, you make smaller guns, you make bigger guns. Mm -hmm. This may be the Goldilocks gun. You know, it's right in the middle. It's, right, <laughs> right, it's just right. right yeah, we, we kind of say not too big, not too small, you know, just right yeah. and, uh, and great shootability. It's kind of a word. It has all use. of that. Yeah. So, so what yeah. are people looking at in the booth now? What are you showing this year? So we have, uh, we're showcasing the M&P and the 2.0 platform. Sure. And uh, as you know, last year at this show, we unveiled the next generation of the M&P pistol platform mm -hmm. called the M2.0 in the full size series. Right. The 9 millimeter, 40, and then 45. So we've, throughout the year, we've been carrying that new M&P 2.0 with all the enhanced feature set across the line of M&P pistols. So we had introduced the compact series of the M&P and right. 940, a very, very popular size configuration. And then recently we introduced the M&P Shield in a 2.0 right. and added a, a, an interesting uh, new feature addition with a built-in in, or integrated Crimson Trace laser ah, in the M&P 2.0. Yeah. So that is the, the latest. And then going into December, leading into the show, we added a green integrated uh, laser Ooh, into the M&P Shield 2.0. Nice. So we're really showing the, the whole family of the M&P pistol. And mm -hmm. uh, we started out at Industry Day at the range on Monday so that Right. Folks could uh, put it in their hands and try out all the products, and then here on the show floor, kind of going through with uh, with all of our customers, uh, kind of the features, benefits of, of the lineup. Everybody always says, oh, I'd yeah. love to go to SHOT Show. I'm sorry, you yeah. can't. <laughs> if you're not in the business, yeah. you can't get in. Yeah. Uh, it's not a traditional gun show. It's a trade show. Yes, it's, yes. It's, it's, it's where you as the manufacturer are talking to dealers and distributors. Right. And those are the people who will end up selling it to consumers. But it's not a consumer show. That's correct. But right. it has grown, and we have this Monday media day at the range with, I don't know, 2,000 media people out there, something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. It's a chance for people to come out and shoot. And now you're seeing uh, the videos. We're posting videos of all of that. Yeah. Um, what was originally a three-day show became a four-day show, became a five-day show. It's <laughs> right. like, that's a whole week long. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. for you guys, even longer, because you've got to bring yeah. the massive booth out here. Oh, right, that. right. Yeah, it's, it's a marathon run. And, uh, you know, I... I, I, I kid, you know, I've been in this business quite a while, and I uh, often say, you know, hey, we're celebrating our 40th anniversary of, of the SHOT Show yeah, and uh, right. this year. And uh, I started with uh, SHOT Show number two. No kidding. And um, not continuously since then, right, but you right. know, I could just remember back. And it was tiny compared to this. It was small. I, I think the, the attendance was maybe 8,000 right. or so. We're looking at what, 60,000 or saying? Over 60,000 now and everything. And um, and it was held in uh, in San Francisco back in 1980. Can You yeah. you, you yeah. couldn't do a SHOT Show in San Francisco now. Uh, probably. Not, probably uh, not for, challenge, for, if yeah. nothing else, for yeah. political reasons. Yeah. You know? yeah. and, uh, and Las Vegas is a great draw. Like you said, we're here all week and uh you know folks come in here and uh you know have an opportunity yeah. you know to i was trying to explain to somebody i said the other thing to understand is that when you've been going to shot shows as long as we have yeah. um it's a little bit like summer camp too yeah. because yeah you work really hard you put in these terrible long hours but you also get to see people this may be the only time of the year 
that you get to see certain people. It's like summer camp. You come back and see them once a year. How you doing? Catch up. What's going on? And then you go about your business. You do your work. And then you come back the next year and you see the same people. And it's, yeah. the weirdest thing is that I don't know how all of them keep getting older. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, it's, it, we're, we're an industry of enthusiasts. You know, as the best way of putting it, you yeah. know, we're enthusiastic about, you know, what we do and producing the products uh, that we do mm -hmm. so that we can, you know, meet the needs of our customers. And uh, there's also something else going on. I was thinking about this earlier. And I don't know if I'm diving too deep into it, but there's a base layer that everything here is built on. And that is a culture, a shared culture, a shared belief in um, values of Second Amendment and yes, you guys compete with other companies, and everybody's competing, and everybody's you know trying to get market share or bring out new product and all that. But at its base level, we all kind of share this belief in an American system, a Second Amendment, all of that. And nobody ever talks about it, but I just think about kind of the uh, the attitude you get, even though you're trying to get you know sales and all the rest of it. It's not like in some industries where it's like you wouldn't be allowed to talk to your competitor mm. if you were in some businesses, you know. And here you go, no, yeah, I know so-and-so over at SIG or at Ruger or at so-and-so or, it's, you know, yeah, I mean, we've all been around together. It's, it's kind of a different feel and a vibe here. Yeah, it's, it's a healthy competition. And, Absolutely, um, yeah. You know, oh, I, yeah, we definitely want to beat their brains out. We, you know? <laughs> we certainly, you know, look at what our competitors are doing yeah. and, you know, certainly look at the market and see where the opportunities are to right. develop. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think it's healthy and that we kind of stir each other on. You bet. You know? What's the process? How does a new product come out? Who, who starts that? Well, you know, we, we do a lot of market research and listen to the customers and uh, try to assess the needs and, and, uh, and look at those opportunities. Uh, we'll, we'll conduct focus groups right. and, and then start the development process. Uh, we have a great in-house R&D and engineering team. We can concept and, and develop uh, right. you know, prototypes and, and further test market and uh, lead into, uh, you know, the end, the end result of a, of a product and then start the whole launch process and then communicating that to, to the customer. But you're open to suggestions from consumers. We listen, we hear, we're very active on, on social and Facebook and right. YouTube and, uh, you know, we're at the ranges with customers and our dealers and our consumers. Of course, and, what I love is when somebody says, you know, well, I told them they ought to bring that out. And two months later, they brought it out. And I'm thinking, yeah, well, they were working on it two years before you told them that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Hey, Jan, hold on a second here. Okay. We're going to take a quick break here. Uh, we're okay. talking with Jan Melodic from Smith & Wesson. We're at the Crimson Trace booth here at the SHOT Show. It is, uh, we're actually recording this on Thursday for broadcast on Sunday, but this is all the latest news of what's going on around here. It is a fabulous time. I am Tom Gresham. It is Gun Talk. Don't go far. When we come back, we're going to have more news and more products from the SHOT Show. Up for our Gun Talk newsletter and join the Truth Squad at www.guntalk.com. Now, back to Gun Talk with Washington Times opinion page regular contributor Tom Gresham. Now, back to a reloaded uh, edition of Gun Talk. It's Shot Show 2018. We're in Las Vegas at Crimson Trace Booth. We're visiting with our friends uh, from Smith the West, and Jan Melodic is with us right now. And Jan, we were talking during the break, and of course, you had the, uh, the media day, you had the range day out there. You had all, we haven't even talked about it. You guys have so many products. Give us some of the highlights, some of the things that people are excited about right now. Yeah, we had a lot of products lined out at the range that the media and then our, uh, our dealers were able to try out. And it's great that they can put it in their hands and then they'll be able to relay that to, to their you know, customers right. coming across the counter, the experience that they had. Um, in the MP line, we talked about the 2.0 platform. We had the latest MP with a threaded barrel and suppressor height sights. Nice. And we launched that in 9mm and 45 auto. Gee, if you and only had a, a suppressor you could put on there, huh? Uh, yeah, you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? <laughs> One of the most popular items on, on the line was a, a suppressed uh, 9mm MP 2.0 with a nice Gemtech GM9 right. Uh, suppressor. Right. And just looking right over those high sights at the target, you know, people just 
plinking away. So much fun. At the plate. Yeah, right. just just great. Yeah. Uh, then we had the MVP Compact Series, which is that new frame size uh, right. uh, that we were talking about earlier that was very popular. People really want to see kind of the, the difference from the full size to the compact mm-hmm. and how it fits in the hand and everything. Right. Then working down the line, we had a nice feature on some Performance Center products from Smith & Wesson. Okay. And uh, one of the highlights there was a, a 1911 Pro Series from the Performance Center in 9 millimeter, Ooh. three inch barrel. Really? A really nice. Uh, a three you know, inch barrel, nine millimeter, nine millimeter 1911. 1911 Pro Series. So it had the nice uh, trigger treatment, a beaver tail, ambidextrous thumb safety, and a 1911 platform. I like that. Really sweet shooting, a, a fairly light to rack slide on it. Right. Um, and then also we had um, uh, 686 plus revolvers from the Performance Center, vented rib, and a quick cylinder release. And so they were really popular as well. I, I keep hearing continued yeah. interest. I mean, it's not like huge, yeah. Yeah. but there's always a good interest in revolvers. It just never goes yeah. away. Absolutely. And these, these performance center ones with their tuned actions mm-hmm. were just, and the, the classic 686 platform right. really enhanced with the performance center. It was just a, a, a great shooting experience. That's and then terrific. down the line, we, we worked our way. We had a, a Thompson Center uh, compass rifle, okay. also suppressed. Uh, oh. In 6.5 Creedmoor, shooting at, uh, you know, targets. And we were just, uh, they had, we had the Caldwell Target Tracker uh, TV camera system. Okay. So we can measure group sizes right away there on so the you don't, you don't have to go down range. You, you're shooting. You can see it just right, right there on there. your bench. Yeah, it's a fantastic system. Yeah. And then we also had our new MP 10 Sport rifle, 308, 762 NATO, 16-inch mm-hmm. barrel. Uh, outfitted with an optic, uh, you know, so people can try out that 308 platform. Also uh, suppressed with a with a Gemtech suppressor on it. So yeah, yeah it was a little quieter on our firing line this year with all the <laughs> suppressors. Exactly. You know, when I think yeah. about it. It's, just, it's amazing the um, the breadth that you guys have from revolvers to 1911s to polymer uh, guns to metal guns to. You know, I mean, uh, you go on and on. The, the, the AR system, the MSRs, uh, uh, Thompson Center. Yeah. It's incredible how wide you guys are across the whole firearms world now. Yeah, we pretty much uh, address through our full line, you know, almost every single market category, uh, you know, and to meet consumers' needs and wants and desires. You know, right. the, the whole hunting platform uh, under our hunt, uh, Thompson Center brand, right. from muzzle loaders to uh, center fire bolt action rifles, uh, all the way to, like you said, the, the smallest uh, personal protection pistols, yep. right on up to the, the big bore 500 and 460 revolvers. Yeah. And the other thing is, you're not just waiting until SHOT Show to bring these out. So when you have a new product, it comes out whenever it is in the middle of the year. So people need to be checking the website as well to know. Yeah. when you've got something new out. Yeah, absolutely. We, we, we pride ourselves in getting a product ready for market, and when it's ready and we're in production, we have units, and then telling, telling the world about it right. so that they can go to the store and, and see it like right. almost right away. And so you have the various websites. Obviously, this smith-wesson.com That's, is probably a good yep. place to start for all of them. Oh, absolutely. It's right there. And uh, you can you can click to Thompson Center right off of our homepage. Right. So all of our brands uh, from Thompson Center to Smith & Wesson to M&P and the Performance Center are all accessible at smith-wesson.com. Perfect. Jan, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure, man. Great seeing you, Tom. And uh, Thank you for having me. Absolutely. All right. We'll be back in just a minute with more news from SHOT Show 2018. Get ready for something totally new from LMT, a short personal defense weapon with an integral suppressor. Featuring new suppressor technology from Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, the CSW, or Confined Space Weapon, has a 24-inch overall length profile and includes their new high-performance suppressor that can shoot supersonic and subsonic ammunition with no changes. Chambered for the 300 blackout, the CSW allows quick movement in tight quarters. For more, visit LMTDefense.com. Since 1937, Ducks Unlimited has led the charge on wetlands and waterfowl conservation. Wetlands reduce the effects of flooding and recharge our drinking water, but perhaps most importantly, 
They allow us to experience what makes the outdoors so great. Band together to rescue our wetlands. You got your carry permit, and that's good. But you know you could use more training. Get the DVDs, which have what you need. Springfield Armory presents Concealed Carry 1 and Concealed Carry 2 with Bata Group. Learn specific concealed carry skills from Top Gun fighting trainers. Get trained. Be prepared. This really is life and death. ShopgunTalk.com That's ShopgunTalk.com Laser sights increase confidence, regardless of experience level. Whether you're learning the fundamentals, a seasoned shooter, or simply overcoming aging eyes, Laser Sight provide instant feedback, providing immediate confidence and enjoyment for a new shooter. Call 800-442-2406 or visit crimsontrace.com for a free copy of our laser training video, The Laser's Edge, and learn more about why Crimson Trace is making Laser Sight's standard equipment. Back with you here. We're at the uh, SHOT Show 2018 having a ball. We're in the uh, Crimson Trace booth, and we're doing the, the whole hot seat. Somebody jumps up, somebody else jumps back in. Ryan Reff has just joined us from Brownells in Grinnell, Iowa. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Tom. Good to be with you. How are you? I understand, I understand that uh, you were uh, kind of burning it up last night. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, you know how SHOT Show goes, Tom, but uh, it, it was a good time. I got in a, in a bit late. Let's put it that way. You got a little bit late. Yeah, okay. But, you know, isn't it interesting how much... And I'll put the air quotes around business is done around the social aspect of what we do out here. You're absolutely right. You know, uh, and I have the social media team and, you know, a number of other teams. But I put it this way. Almost all of my business is done after show hours. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Particularly for my team. Yeah. Okay. Well, Brownells is one of those companies there. You know, a lot of people know, but they probably don't really know because, you know, there are people who still think of it as a an outfit that makes gunsmith tools. Mm -hmm. uh, then people who may know about some of the other things you do, but it's it's this three generation company that keeps reinventing itself. I think would be a fair way to say it. What yeah, do you think? No, uh, yeah, that's an interesting way to put it for sure. I mean, and we are all those things. You know, right. gunsmith parts house. All that place will always be that. But uh, you know, we're an eighty year old brand that has to continue to evolve and find new customers. And uh, you know, we're getting a lot of feedback that people enjoy what we're doing and just having fun and. You know, this week we launched the retro rifle, so well, it's a lot of that, fun. That's where we're going because, goes. I mean, you've made parts before. You've had made magazines. You, you've, you've gotten into that world. Uh, you've had distributorship. You sell ammo. You and on and on. But this is a big step. You guys have become a gun manufacturer now. Yeah. First What's time, that about? First time in 79 years. You know, and, and, and the great part, I think the most exciting part from our perspective is that we're bringing industry partners in with us. So it's not that we're doing the actual assembly of the firearms, some of the parts or other people's, other companies' parts, right. uh, but we're doing what we've done for 80 years almost. We're bringing the industry together and taking products to market. Well, you know, for a generation of people who grew up looking at basically the AR-15, which became the M-16, which became the M-4, what you have is several generations, I don't know if that's the right term, but I think it is, sure. uh, of the development of it. You can say, okay, well, this is what was being carried in the jungles very early on. And then this is the model later on. And this is the, and you look at it, and, and people who were there who carried those rifles are going to go, that's what I carried. That's the one right there. You probably right. have already had them coming up and talking to you about yeah. it. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, my, it's actually... I'll tell you a really cool story. It's actually a bit downright emotional for some people. So there's, you know, there's really a, a several markets of people who, you know, are interested in, who showed interest and, in, you know, provided feedback. Right. There's the guys that carried them. Right. You know, in service, of course. There's the guys who maybe used them in basic training. And then there's the, then there's the whole crowd of younger people who uh, want to buy them because that's what Grandpa carried you. That's what dad and, and they've seen him in the movies. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, some of that. Yeah, popularized in, you know, in pop culture, that sort of thing. But we lit, I, we had we were at an event one time, and this is when it was just parts. And so we have the parts if you want to build it. Okay. We have the guns now if you want to buy it. You know, so that's kind of the it's two options. But when we were showing off parts about a year ago, we were at an event, 
and a, and a great big tough looking guy comes by, stares down at the rifle, and and legitimately wells up and tears come down his face, and uh, we were like, whoa, you know, you you okay? You know what's yeah. up? And he's like, he said, you know what? Um, my uncle gave his life with one of these in his hands, and he goes, he's he says, uh, he's the guy that I inspire to be, or who, who wow. I try to be every day. Wow, and we were blown away. I mean, it's like, what do you say to that? You know what I mean? Incredible. Yeah, no kidding. It's, uh, you know what it is? You're touching people with this. And it goes back to what we've talked about a lot of times is people, if you're not in the gun world, you don't get it. A gun is more than a gun. Yeah, absolutely. For a lot of us, certain guns are so much more than just a piece of metal. Mm-hmm. And for those of us who, who have that, we, we look at that and go, okay, this is important to us. This is a whole different thing. And I think with this, you're touching that. Clearly you are. So what's the plan? I mean, and I do want to point out, these are not like collector's items. These are shooters. Yeah, these are shooters. It's all, you know, it's it, it's all stuff. You know, the the, the 556 lines, there's there's four different models. There's the Air Force 601. There's the, the kind of the uh, the prototype of the... The, the XBRN 16E1 is what we call it. Mm-hmm. It's the it's the prototype between the 601 and the M16A1. There's the A1, and then of course there's the the uh, the clone of the XM 177 uh, carbine. Um, so what's the, the what's the plan? Uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see how they we're gonna see how they do. Uh, you know we're just okay. gonna, you know if they sell they're popular and they they have already. The five five sixes are on the website now. Right. Uh, you know we're taking pre orders on the three hundred eight, so we're just going to see what they do. And we, I'll tell you, uh, your listeners will be the first to know that there's other options coming. Really? Yeah. So it's you know we're going to continue to do these things. And um, we, what are we talking about when we say other options coming? Well, you know what? That's what the product team doesn't even tell me all the time. They just say more. Well, they coming. don't trust you. I Tom, wouldn't. I wouldn't trust you either. You know, I talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> and so trust me. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, how did this idea come about? So the idea came about, it's a great question. We were in a meeting in, in September, and, and I've got to give props to our product group because they, they executed so quickly that this happened. Wow. We made the determination a short in time. September, yeah. and by now we're, we, we launched a shot show. Wow. So we, the, it comes when we've, we've had the parts, right, mm-hmm. um, but for the 556. Not, not every part for the 556, not all the models we launched, but the A1 we had parts. Uh, and we were sitting in a meeting. Um, and talking about the 308 parts rollout, and I don't claim to be a smart guy, but I kind of raised my hands and I said, you know, it sounds like we've got enough to make guns, you know. Um, and so we decided we would do that. And so the great proposition with us is buy or build it. Right. But now we have an option for people just to buy one, get it in a box. For people who don't want to go down. build their own. Mm-hmm. They can buy it, pull it out of the box, and they have their rifle ready to go. Yeah, absolutely. The 308 parts will be available uh, later on this year. Okay, um, it, they'll be a little bit, del- a little bit delayed. And, but I mean, we've been so successful. We got a little a market intelligence on the, on the uh, the uh, M16A1 clone stuff. Uh, those uppers, we come in and they're gone the same day. We'll get hundreds of uppers and lowers really? in, and they'll be gone the same. Same day. Now, see, I would have thought that would have been very niche. It wouldn't have been that many people interested in it. And, and, and I would be missing that because there's something going on here. There is. And, and so it's not just in the industry, right? It's it's nostalgia marketing. is in nostalgia oh. marketing and the whole nostalgia thing is happening everywhere right now. You hear it in the, in the, in the automobile industry with Ford sure. and Chevy bringing old models back. Right. That sort of thing. The whole kind of retro theme is pop culture right now. And so it's fun for us to be able to tie into that. All right. So these are... Would you say primarily like from the Vietnam era? Yeah, yeah, primarily. I think that's probably mm-hmm. what would be fair to say. Right. Do you look then and say, well, what other eras can we tap into? <laughs> yeah, most certainly. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Why not World War II era? Mm-hmm. You go backwards. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I think it's all on the table. And maybe that's what they have planned that they're not telling me about. Yeah, so and if we tell Ryan, he's going to tell everybody. So we're not going to tell him, <laughs> that's right? exactly right. <laughs> that seems fair. All right, I tell you what, uh, let's take, we're going to take a break here in just a second. We'll come back. I want to talk about some of the other things that Brownell's doing. Sure. Because obviously you've got a whole lot more going than this. And when you go in the booth, well, you can't get in the booth. 
because your, your booth is always crowded. It is, yes. It's, uh, you know, everybody that force, wants to say, I've been doing business with Brownells all my life. Yep. You hear that story yep. all day long. Right. Up to people who's just saying, hey, what's new? So we'll talk a little bit about what's new when we come back. We'll talk with Ryan Rep from Brownells. By the way, it's brownells.com, B-R-O-W-N-E-L-L-S, brownells.com. Uh, one of the great uh, companies, one of the great families in our industry. And I know that uh, you... It's really fun to work there. Oh, it's an incredible honor to work with Pete and Frank. It really is. Just great people. All right, don't go far. Uh, This is Gun Talk. I'm Tom Gresham. We are at the Crimson Trace booth in Las Vegas, Nevada. We'll be right back with more news. Back to a reloaded edition of Gun Talk. All right, back with you. Talk with Ryan Rep from Brown Ells with Crimson Trace Booth uh, at the Shot Show. And Ryan, we're talking to the break. You know, there are a lot of things that you guys do at Brown Ells that people may not know about. Obviously, you sell like tons of ammo, and you've got good prices on ammo. But I think people may not know that you guys sell guns too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we started the uh, we started our project to sell firearms. Um, you know, it's been almost a year ago now. Maybe just a, yeah, it was right around Shot Show. Right. Um, and so, yeah, you can buy all your favorite brands through Brownells, and, and you know, we just do it through a, through the through, through a process where we ship to the FFL of your choice. So you got a local dealer, an FFL, and it goes there, and they do the paperwork, and yeah, and the dealer's going to get uh, whatever they charge for yeah. you know, transfer or however you. Basically, that's kind of between the customer and the dealer. It is, yeah. It's whatever the dealer, uh, whatever the dealer charges for his tr- for his processing fee. Right. And we dr- <laughs> we try to make that easy and upfront. Um, we have an FFL dealer locator on there. Oh, okay. And so when you go to f- buy the firearm, just select which FFL you want. Put in your zip code and you know, it pops up. And right up. there, it'll tell you what, what his or her fees are. Oh, All okay. that sort of thing, where their address is, their well, hours. Well, that makes it easy. You don't have to contact them and say, what do you charge? No. Or will you do it? Right. Or any of that. If you use, we'll use any FFL that has the, the qualifying, you know, uh, FFL type. Right. Um, but the ones mm-hmm. that are on the, in a part of the feature dealer program on the website, mm-hmm. uh, They've just given they've just given their consent uh, to to handle orders. Well, that's so. slick. Yeah. So, like, give me an idea. What kind of what brands do you carry? Uh, anything you want. Really. Sig, Glock, Ruger, Smith, you, anybody. Anything. Smith and Wesson. You bet. Yeah. Any, so, any brand. You can well, I'm just thinking what that does for somebody is they say, well, I live in a little town and my local dealer doesn't really uh, carry that much in inventory. Mm-hmm. Well, they go on your website, find what they want, and if you guys have it. They can have it in what two days? Yeah, yeah, just a couple days, dealer. and all guns ship free. Really? Yeah. So, oh wow. Yeah. So free shipping. Just buy it. It's going to ship free if it's a firearm. So no wow, worries, no worries that, about that's that. That's pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. And I mean, and obviously Brownells has always had the, the incredible warranty, the guarantee. Yeah. Basically, you just take care of people. It's, yeah, yeah, we'll take care of you. You know, it's a little bit different with guns because it's hard to take guns back. Right. Uh, I think it's. I think it's like. I don't even remember the return policy. I should know that. I don't remember the return policy, but guns and ammo. Um, a little tougher return policy, sure, but as you as you said, on you know on the parts. Basically, the, it's we'll take care of you. It's yeah, really what oh, absolutely, to. we're going to take care of you. But there's the the lifetime guarantee on everything else, right? Um, which is continues to be an, an, the industry exclusive type thing. People still doing home gunsmithing, yeah, like crazy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, or 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 any uh, gunsmith. You know, That's we, true. You're a professional gunsmith, yeah, too. Yeah, professional gunsmith, anybody. Whatever yeah. tools you need, whatever supplies you need. If you want to get into bluing, you got them. Right. You know, you want to do uh, whatever. You want uh, the incredible, and I just got to say this. If you're a shooter and you don't have a set of Brownell screwdrivers, you're not really the shooter you think you are. <laughs> everybody, literally everybody I know who shoots has Brownell screwdriver sets. Yeah, yeah. there's there's a few things that uh, that everybody's going to have Brownells, and that's that's yeah, certainly you got to have one of the screwdriver sets, you know, <laughs> you and you got the blades. And yes, you're going to end up breaking blades, and that's why you can get replacement blades yep, for them. Nope, that's, absolutely, that's the whole deal. Because you want your blade to break before you mess up the screw head. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. That's the way it's designed. And we will get you squared away with that. No yeah. problem at all. It, it's just really cool. It's. I, I will tell you the one thing that's fun about Brownells is going through the website and discovering things you did not know existed. Uh, right. And you're going, right. what is it? I don't know what it is, but I want it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, it's, there's, you know, it's it's gotten so vast the product selection. I think we're over, we're almost 2,500 brands that we represent. It's gotten so vast that there's no way for me to keep track of it. I don't work with the products every day, right? Um, you know, and our product team does, but it's one of those things where 
you know, at the show, we'll come up and like, hey, you know, uh, do you carry this product? Or, or uh, you know, you guys have been carrying our product for a while. And I'm like, I don't even know. I don't know. We got so much, I don't even know. Yeah. Well, but the big news now, this, as we go out is you got the Retro Rifles. It's yep. on the website now, right? It's brownells.com slash retro. Brownells.com slash retro. Take a look at them. You probably know these either you, you your dad, your granddad, or from the movies. Yep. Very yep. cool stuff. Absolutely. Thank you, Ryan. Pleasure. Always good to be with you. Always great to have Brownells on here, and you guys are always doing all sorts of interesting stuff. All right, don't go far. When we come back, we're going to have more news, more products from SHOT Show 2018 in Las Vegas. I'm Tom Gresham. 